What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my GSPN's coverage of the 2016 high school football season. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And with round one of the playoffs kicking off this past weekend, here's a look at some of the action we had. Winter Park was looking to redeem themselves after losing to Wakaiba 35-7 earlier in the season, and they would in a huge way, winning 30-21. to Winter Park will play the winner of our game of the week between Timber Creek and Apopka. Olympia lost a devastating game against Riverview, 25-56 in its 8A matchup. Riverview will play the winner of Dr. Phillips and Manatee. St. Thomas Aquinas took on Palm Beach Lakes in a 7A matchup. Uh, they beat them 35-0 to advance to round two. Uh, they're going to meet Dwyer at a neutral site on Friday night. In the previous round, Dwyer defeated Fort Lauderdale 39-0. We also had a 4A matchup between Jones and Avon Park, uh, where we saw Jones winning 27-16. Jones now advances to the second round of the playoffs, where they will face Coco in a regular season matchup, where we saw Coco take down Jones 41-6 earlier this season. Jones will be coming into this game with a chip on their shoulder, seeking revenge. Pahokee used a QB sneak to get Tyrone Smith in the end zone to tie the game at 34 in the OT against Newberry. The extra point would seal the deal and give Pahokee a slim 35 to 34 win. Pahokee will face Trenton, who beat Boss Crew 50 to 14. FSU commit Justin Watkins and a strong defensive play led the way for Vanguard against Kingsbury. Watkins finished with 135 rushing yards and two touchdowns as Vanguard won 30, 45 to 0. We had an 8A matchup in a very close game, decided by just one point. Treasure Coast beat Osceola 28 to 27 in a nail botter. They will now face Vero Beach in round two. And also in 6A, we had Sebastian River versus Matanzas, where we saw Sebastian River winning 10 nothing. They will now be facing Mainland, who defeated Okeechobee 56 to seven in round one. And we'll be right back with highlights of Friday night's game between Apopka and Timber Creek. We had a huge playoff game Friday night between Apopka and Timber Creek. The Blue Darters came into this game ranked number one in the AA State Poll, but that didn't shake Timber Creek much. Our crew was there live covering the action. Timber Creek, coming into the game as an underdog, were looking to come out swinging. They started pretty aggressive, as they would open the game with the onside kick and it would be recovered. That would set up a nice touchdown pass to Cameron Meehan. After the extra point, Timber Creek would try a sky kick in the ensuing kickoff. Apopka would muff the kick and it was recovered again by Timber Creek. As they did in the last possession, they wouldn't let the great field position go to waste as Peter Patrick Hayes were running in for a two yard touchdown and put Timber Creek up 14 to zero. Apopka would bounce back in the second quarter though. A sort of trickery flea flicker to Deshaun Macy would put Apopka on the board and cut the lead in half. At the Timber Creek field goal, Dimitri Birch and Deshaun Macy of Apopka would both find the end zone on running plays, but a missed extra point turned this from a possible two-score game to Timber Creek only trailing 20 to 27 heading to the half. The third quarter then started with Apopka busting out a 29-yard run for a touchdown by number eight, Deshaun Massey, followed by a missed uh, point after attempt. That was followed by a dump pass to MJ Jarrell, who took it long to the house for a Timber Creek touchdown, putting them up or putting Apopka up 33 to 27. Apopka then put up one last touchdown with a pass to number 44 to put them up 39 to 27. Timber Creek had the answer they needed with a pair of passing touchdowns, first to number 15 on the streak. Then again, we saw quarterback Brandon Garcia hit MJ Jarrell for a 25 yard pass with two minutes and 31 seconds left. Timber Creek's defense did their job with two late picks to seal the win and Timber Creek takes it 40 to 39 and a huge upset. Thank you guys for joining us this week. We'll see you guys next week for round two.